Hello everyone. How are you? Hope you are so fine and safe. This is Ananda Sharkar Biplop, lecturer, Department of English, Government Dharana of Gunj College. I welcome you all to my online class arranged by the college authority. You know, we are fighting against COVID-19 coronavirus originated from Wuhan, China. We have to stay safe by sanitization and maintaining other rules of health. In this pandemic situation, our studies are being greatly hampered, right? So, dear students, you should study from right now. Without studies, you cannot go ahead. So, dear students, don't get late. Let's get the ball rolling. Okay, keep in mind, dear students, before starting your pen and paper, you, you should write down your rule number, class name on your comment box so that we can make your attendance for the college authority. Okay, dear students, before starting our today's topic, well, you should know two types. Two types means phrases and words, right? And phrase. You know really well what is phrase. A phrase is a group of words, right? A phrase is a group of words which has no finite verb. It can also be a part of a sentence, but it shouldn't have any finite verb. Okay, let us say examples. By these examples, you can be clear, right? What's it like? What's it like? Used to, get used to. Would you mind? It is time, it is item, and so on, right? Okay, next. Word. Word is the smallest unit of language which has a particular meaning. Of course, word. Word can be formed by some letters, but that word should have particular meaning. Without perfect meaning, really, a word cannot be accepted, right? There are examples. There, it, last, unless, so on, right? Next. Okay, we can go to our detailed discussions. Well, the first one. First, okay. What do look like? By this phrase, just you can have the external look of something or somebody, right? And you should know the structures of all the rules. But here, the structure of the rule is what do plus subject plus look like. But you must know sometimes thus can be used here. When you get the subject, subject third person singular, then you must write what does. Okay. There are examples and you should know really well. What do Japanese people look like? What does Lina look like? Right? Okay, next. Number two. What's it like? Really? You should know what's it like. The meaning of the phrase. Okay, how become? How become the meaning of this phrase? Okay, structure. You should write down what's it like plus verb ing. That means you must have ing form of verb plus object. And you must give the question mark at the end of the sentence. Okay. There are example, what's it like singing in front of others? What's it like swimming in the river? I think you are clear, right? Already you have seen the ing verb, ing form. That means ing form of the verb is given here after like. Okay, next. Rule 3, describing ori. That means what if the phrase is what if and what can you understand by what if of course just it describes ori proposal and others structures are also known by the students okay at first you will write down what if plus subject plus verb plus object okay 
and by this structure you will be able to make clear sentence so clear sentence what if we shift there the first one what if i fail in the examination what if i fail in the examination what can you understand by this sentence of course worry right worry in your mind that means what will happen if you fail in the exam number b what if we shift there right it's a proposal next okay number four let alone the phrase is really most important for the students those who are going to appear at final exam also for the first year students you you must have the phrase let alone in your exam the meaning of the phrase is actually out of thought out of thought you cannot think anything then you can use let alone right and you should know you will have two negative fact two negative fact and inside two negative facts you will write down let alone okay negative fact plus let alone plus negative fact this is the main rule main way to understand the using of let alone there are examples i can't buy a bicycle let alone a bus you are understanding you can see a bicycle it's a negative fact then let alone plus a bus a bus means i cannot buy a bus so these two are negative facts and inside the two negative facts you have to write down let alone right number b he can't walk a kilometer let alone 10 kilometers i think this sentence is also clear to you right okay next number five as soon as really most of the people actually most of the students know the meaning in bengali but you should know the meaning in english at the moment or immediately after at the moment right structure there are also two structures the first one as soon as plus subject v1 plus object subject v1 plus object also the first one as soon as plus subject plus v2 plus object subject plus v2 plus object okay there are examples as soon as i went out it started raining number b as soon as i find time i see you of course when i find time then i see you this is the theme of the phrase next had better yeah by had better just describing advice recommendation and warning the structure subject plus had better plus verb one plus object of course if you must write down verb one verb one after had better right okay your final examination is knocking at the door you had better study hard of course you understand right your final exam is knocking at the door and your study is very very needed right so we can say you had better study hard okay number b it may rain today you had better take an umbrella so what is here of course recommendation recommendation it may rain so an umbrella should be taken by you okay my dear next number seven have to has to have to really have to and has to just you can use in present present tense and had to just for first tense right and by this phrase you can understand the obligation obligation right okay subject plus have to plus verb one plus object okay the examples also known by the students we have to obey the rules of health 
okay his eyesight is not very good his eyesight is not very good so he has to wear glasses for learning that means uh, glasses are really important for him to read something right okay there is students rule eight list rule eight list yeah by this word you can understand the meaning okay it means for fear that or that not right and you should know the structure list plus subject plus should might plus v1 plus object okay the examples he reads more list he should fail in the examination can you understand the sentence of course you can understand right and number b runa ran fast lest she might miss the bus of course here after list subject she plus might miss here verb one right then object okay thanks rule nine used to used to also really very very easy for understanding by the students really it means first habitual act first habitual act subject plus used to plus verb one plus object the structure actually i have given all the structures for the students so that the students can take these structures and they can understand the examples so that the students can make the correct sentences here examples yusuf used to he smoked two years ago right that means two years ago yusuf was a smoker but right now he is not interested at all number b tomal used to travel a lot tomal used to travel a lot that means once tomal traveled a lot but right now he is not interested at all okay next number 10 b get used to b used to or get used to really by this you can understand someone accused tom to doing something right here be used to or get used to plus verb ing of course you must write down verb ing before starting this pattern you should know the structure first okay there are two examples examples should be memorized by the students of course um used to playing cricket i'm used to playing cricket number b he got used to driving a bus okay you should know the examples next number 11 would you mind would you mind of course it's a requesting question it is used to make question by requesting okay would you mind plus verb ing plus object that means you must write down verb ing plus object and after the end of the uh, end of the sentence you must write down the question mark the examples would you mind have a actually would you mind having a cup of coffee of course having here ing form right after would you mind you must write ing form of the verb so having having is a must here right would you mind having a cup of coffee would you mind not smoking number b is negative from here okay next okay my dear students already i have given you some homework on the phrase the first one the rules of phrase and words you should know the rules these rules should be known by the students okay and you must complete the following sentences number a dash closing the door henna dash dancing time is over so 
I dash go now. The train left dash will reach the station. Number E dash a ghost dash. Karim can't read Bangla well dash English. He works hard dash he might fail in life. Okay, this homework you must do. And if you can, then this homework Humor can be written by you in the comment box. Okay, I will make that clear for you. Okay, my dear students, I'm gonna call it a day. That's all from my side for the time being. To be honest, thank you so much for listening my speech really well. Hope this conversation will make your learning life really better you know practice makes even perfect right if you can practice you will be failed if you practice really well you must be able to develop your position right so practice these rules from today and go ahead okay dear students no more today more when you meet again with another interesting video topic stay happy till then for the happiest